Hi, here I'll show you how you can use the catalog feature in the Wati Flow Builder. So let's go to the Flow Builder section. Select Automations. Select the option Flows. And here let's create a new flow called Add Flow. And let's, let's start from scratch. Okay. Uh, let's go with the same name called Test Catalog. 3, 2, 1. Select Add. And now here we are in the Wati Flow Builder section. Now, if you kind of scroll down, you'll find a new section called Catalog. And under Catalog, there are two nodes called Sets and Products. Sets kind of represents the, all the collections of products in the catalog. And Product, if the user wants to direct his customer to a particular product in his catalog, he can use this particular node. Now, let's create a new sample flow to see how the catalog can be function in this flow. So let's start with a welcome message. So select send a message option. Uh, and here, let's, get, let's type in a welcome message called welcome to our store. And that's it. Now, after that, we'll ask a question to the customer saying that which type of product category he's looking into. So for that, let's use the note for ask a question. And let's choose the option buttons here. And here, uh, we will we'll set up a question like, which product category are you interested in? Are you interested in? And uh, give, give him two options. Uh, so one is T-shirts and another one that will be shirts. Okay. And let's save it. So here it comes and let's connect it to the node here. Now, what we need to do is that when, when any user selects the option T-shirts, we'll provide him a collection of T-shirts in our catalog. And similarly, if he selects shirts, we'll provide him a collection of shirts in our catalog. So for that, let's go back. Let's go to the catalog section. Since we need to send him a collection of products in our catalog, we will need to use the node sets. So select the node sets here and double click here and select the particular set that has been created in your catalog. So in our catalog, we have got two sets, all products and catalog, or catalog two. So now for when a user select t-shirts, let's trigger this particular set. So we'll choose all product and click on save. And here it is. And we'll connect t-shirts to this node. And now when some any user select shirts, we'll, we will trigger a different set in a catalog for shirts. So for that, again, go back, select sets again, select it here, double click, and let's choose the other one, catalog two. Select it and save it. And here, connect it to the source. And once done, let's save it. Okay, so to see how this functions, we'll also need to set a keyword so that this particular flow gets triggered. So let's go back, set up a keyword here. Let's add a new keyword, uh, add keyword, and let's the keyword as car. Let's put it as add. And in next step, select flows. And here, let's select the flow which we just created now when cart is entered. You select test catalog 3 to 1 and click on save. Now, to see how it functions, let's go back and let's type in the keyword cart. So I typed in the keyword cart in my WhatsApp number. So let's see what the responses come in. So this is my number here. So wait a minute. So it's here. So I've typed in the keyword cart and the response has come in. We had set up welcome to our store and we'll be asking the customer a question regarding which product category are you interested in. So now I'm going to select t-shirts and uh, let's see what the response is. Okay, so when I select t-shirts, the particular all product set has been triggered to the user. So here it goes. And now if the user kind of goes into it, use the items, add a product into the catalog, and he sends the card, you would see this. So let me just go in. Let me go and add a few products in the cart. And let me place an order. So once you place an order, uh, let's see 
here you go. So the, these are the items which I added and this was the card that has been sent. And now the business can go ahead and complete the order for his customer. Thank you.